I don't know when you envisioned the decade structure, if that was your original intention or if it just started happening that way because you haven't written them in order necessarily. Um, did you find that that was, uh, it, looking back now, did you find that was the best way to do it, not in order, not pe not having people expect to see that the, the 60s come after the 50s, after the 40s, you know, but to give them different... See, I, I try not having people expect, I, I try not, those people don't exist, yes. see, because if you start on what people are expecting, you start with, with their expectations, then you start writing, you know, you're allowing something else. Sure. You know, I, I try to disregard all, all of that, I don't write, as an example, I don't write for any particular audience or anything other than working as an artist and trying to just get it down uh, on the page. Mm -hmm. I started, uh, I wrote a role play called uh, Jenny and I said it in 1971. Then I wrote a play called Fullerton Street, which was set in 1940. Mm -hmm. And I wrote My Range Black Bottom, which was set in 1927. And it was then I said, oh, why don't I just continue to do this? And then I just with no particular water, and then I had an idea for the 50s, I say, what are the 50s, and so I wrote Fences, and then Joe Turner was like 1911, mm -hmm. that just happened out of nowhere, I mean, I didn't even plan to write that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Uh, so Joe Turner might have been inspired by the fact that you're looking for a, a play within that specific decade? No, that's not saying it was not. Oh, okay. That's, that's the whole point, it was not. And I say, okay, now I'm my 11th <laughs> play. Now I need a 40s play, now I need a, yeah. It's, it's, it's just an example of how how these things happen. Is uh, uh, I had written fences. I didn't have any play to write. Uh, I had uh, from September to December to write a play for the O'Neill. And I'm gonna write a play, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna write about. I don't care. It's not a problem. I'll write a play. Yeah. And uh, it, 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 the restaurant I went to, there was a waitress, and she said, oh, I hear you're a writer. You, you want to write a story together. You write the first four pages, I'll write the next four pages. So trying to encourage her to write, say, sure. Oh, wow. So I'm home, and it's Sunday, and I go, oh, man, I'm supposed to have these four pages for Ruth to learn. And I, there's a magazine that had a picture of Milhan's lunch bucket, which was a painting by Romero Beard. So I said, oh, I know what I'll do. And I looked at the painting, and I began to write a short story as though I were a reviewer, an uh, art critic of the New York Times, and I'm describing this painting. And I go describing on the, the outside the window the steel mill rages, and the man here and the woman there. And there's a man, I said, and the painter has placed, you know, the figure seated in the middle of the painting in a posture of abject defeat. The man's name is Harold Moon. Yeah. You know, when I wrote that, how would a reviewer go with the man's name? Sure, sure, sure. Just, sure. That blew me away. And I said, wow. <laughs> what if... Ah, you know? So I went back the next day, and I, I had nine pages, actually. And I said, I'm sorry, but you can't work on this here. You know, because they, they give you nine pages, and i got to work on this. And I said, we'll be the four pages, and then, you know, later. Yeah, yeah. And I still went home, and I wrote three more pages to the story. And I caught myself, I said, wait a minute, man, you're a playwright now. You know, you should make this into a play. And I needed him to bomb that. I said, how do you make this into a play? I said, you got to set that. Mm -hmm. And then I just, you know, pulled, turned over the page and went setting and started right there. The first, that is so The great. first scene of Joe Turner, look at the man out there and, and even who the characters were. Yeah. You know, yeah. so they just... I love that when the inspiration comes from the simplest thing, you know, you just you see a magazine or you see a person. Um, so this was, the painting was set in uh, early 1900s, not, not, yeah. not necessarily 1911, but it was, and that's how that got its, its setting, but I didn't, it, they were saying, just say, oh, I'll write my 19. Yeah. Uh, tennis player. You mentioned one Fullerton Avenue? Fullerton Street, it was a 40s, it was my 40s play, which I had back then. Okay, because that's not even listed among these. Jitney is, uh, which I, I don't think LA's seen a production of that yet. Uh, it is. We had a production in Pittsburgh in 82 and St. Paul in 85, yeah. and Pittsburgh Public Theater is doing it this year as part of their season. Oh, great. And, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, obviously, one day somebody's going to come up with the idea, hey, let's do them all in order and do a whole festival and... I mean, wouldn't that be amazing to see, you know, to see it, the progression, you know? Yeah, um, great idea. But 